Hey guys, Stephen Cox here, and today I'm excited to bring you the Red Journeyman Mahogany U-Bass made by Kala. So as you can see, this reddish-orange U-Bass has a really classic vibe with the F holes and it comes with the metal round wound strings. You can also get this U bass in black finish and you can also get it with the rubber strings in a natural wood grain finish. So check those out too. So let's talk about the specs. So the MSRP for this is about $360. Yes, I rounded up a penny. And it has a mahogany body, it has a cream binding, you can kind of see that cream color. It has a plastic nut and a plastic saddle. It has the collar round wound strings. But yes, these are made of metal. It has custom die cast tuners. So these actually feel pretty good, even compared to the hip shots. They're pretty good. And the scale of this ukulele bass is 20.875 inches, which the scale is from the nut to the saddle. And then the full length is 29.625 inches. So I'll let you know it's a little bit bigger than a carry-on item on an airplane, but it's still pretty small and portable for sure. So it comes with the UK 500B pickup, which includes a tuner as well. It also comes with a padded gig bag. So it's got a pouch for little accessories and stuff. And this is what the inside looks like. And it's fairly sturdy, so it protects it pretty well. It's not a hard case by any means, but it's a sturdy gig bag. All right, so the pros of this U-Base. First of all, the biggest one is the color. As you can see, it stands out, it's really vibrant, it's pretty awesome. Then, of course, the F-holes instead of the sound hole, I think they're, they're aesthetically pleasing, but in addition to that, when you're playing slap bass acoustically, the sound hole not being in the middle makes it a little less aggressive and in your face with the high end of the notes. So you're not getting as much of the attack, you're getting a little bit more of the sound of the strings. But also, the U-Bass is just a little bit quieter because we have the F-holes over there, rather than having a sound hole in the middle that projects everything straight out. So the metal strings over the rubber strings sound more like an electric bass, which is a pro if you want it to sound more like an electric bass. So one of the advantages of the metal strings is that you can play them harder without them slapping against the frets and you can play light or hard and not have to worry about some of the issues that you get with the rubber strings bouncing off of the neck. Also this allows for you to have lower action. As you can see this this action is fairly low. It's not like the lowest action in the world but it's really easy to play and it's, it's comfortable. It's very comfortable. So this strap is not included, but I'm gonna include a link below on how you can find this strap. So the other pro to this U-Bass is this cutaway right here. So this cutaway is kinda of nice because you can reach all the frets and still keep your thumb on the back of the neck. On the other U-Basses where you don't have that cutaway, you might have to bring your hand in front to play some of those notes and almost do thumb position like if you were an upright player. But let's talk about the cons. There aren't a whole bunch of cons, but there are a couple that are worth noting. The um, sound hole not being in the middle, but being two F holes over here. Acoustically, it is a little bit quieter than the Kala Exotic Mahogany or one of the other U basses that has a sound hole in the middle. So while that quietness can make it easier to slap without having as much of an abrasive tone, it also does make it a little bit quieter in acoustic settings. Then one of the other things is the paint does seem to affect the tone just a little bit. So if you wanted one that really sounds natural and really projects the way that just the normal wood might, then you probably want to get one that doesn't have this finish because the finish does affect the tone acoustically a little bit. Now when it's plugged in, it doesn't really affect the tone. So one other weird quirk about this U-Bass, which you could look at as a pro or a con, is when you're playing it, it almost sounds like it has a flanger effect, which if you hear on guitar, it's almost that like, kind of in and out sound, but as you play on different parts of this U-Bass, you kind of get a natural kind of version of that, and I've never heard that before on any of the other ones. So I think it's really cool, unless you want a completely pure tone, 
where it's not doing something that sounds like an effect. And this might go away over time as you break your strings in. So here's what it sounds like acoustically. Alright, so let's hear what this sounds like plugged in. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe below, and I will have more content like this coming at you every week. Some will be reviews, and some will be arrangements for the bass ukulele or the U-bass. Thanks. I'll see you guys next time.